Good morning, class. My name is Mr. Scar, as you can see, and welcome to English 101. Hello, teacher. And uh, we're going to start off by introducing ourselves, so uh, if you'd like to go first. Well, my name is Ahmed, and uh, I like to learn the English language, and I like to le learn it to teach my family back home, and uh, so I can be good in the school. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, how do you pronounce that again? Ahmed? Ahmed. 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 Ahmed? Ahmed. I'll just call you James. There you go, that's fine. And, uh, you sir? Yo, what to do, Mr. Asker? Yeah, you remember me? I took your class before. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, uh, of course, you know, you already know. You know, my name's Mo. You know, trying, trying to, you know, get back up on school. You know, stay out of the streets. Financial aid be covering me, so, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Well, that's nice. Now, since we know a little bit about each other, uh, we're going to get right into it and talk about a little subject called exact language. For sure, man! <laughs> now, uh, do either of you know what exact language is? Anyway. Uh, yes, you. Yeah, is it uh, like the language you speak or I speak, like the English, so you don't make mistake? I don't know. No, not quite. Uh, maybe you would know? Do you have an idea? <laughs> Man, I don't know what, like... Is it like slang or something? Different types of slang? I don't know. No, no, that's not it at all, actually. But, you know, that, that was close. A simple definition of exact language is when you condense your language by using a more precise or exact word. Back to class. Alright, guys. Well, right now, uh, I'm about to put a few examples on the board so you guys can put it in your notes, okay? So you guys can talk amongst yourselves while I write it on the board. Excuse me, it's the telephone. Hello? I'm in class. What do you want to do about it? I'm in class. I deal with him later. Listen to me. Go get the G somewhere else. Okay? I love you. Sorry. So, so how do you like the new teacher, man? You throw a paper ball at me, man? Why do you do this? What did I do to you? Back home, they throw you in jail for this type of crap. You can't be picking up your phone in class, man. What's wrong with you? That's why I had to hit you. You might even see. That's disrespect, man. You are lucky the teacher is almost done with the notes. Unless I throw this at you, man. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you throw another one? Okay, so as you see here, uh, so you guys get a better concept of it. Instead of cry very softly, you'd use weep. Running hard, you use sprint. Place under water, you, use, you would use submerge. And leaving trash about, you would use litter. Now, do you guys understand that? Yeah, yeah. I like that. I understand now, it's good. Now, exact language is very important when it comes to your papers because you don't want to sound too worried. So, you know, it's better to use smaller and simple words. Weep, sprint, submerge, litter, instead of all these other words. Usually one word will express the same thought that several words could also be used to express. Let's keep it going. You guys get it? Yes, yes. I Mr. Ask, I understand. I get the concept of it. I get it. Peter May. Now, you want to be very careful with exact language in your papers. Because when you use too many words in a paper, it just seems, seems very meaningless. And using other shorter words would actually improve your paper and it would actually impress your teacher. And for homework, I want you guys to write a paper and we'll correct the mistakes in class. Okay? Okay. Yes. 
All right, guys, class is dismissed. Have a good day. All right, Mr. Ask, how much later, man? See you later. Bye, man. Oh, who's that, man? I got you good. <laughs>